Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more Spanish babysitting, where we've whack a mold about far too many uh, allied attacks at this point. Seriously. Uh, yeah, we've we've been fighting a lot. We've slaughtered um, like a million Americans and far too many other uh, kinds of just allies. Don't care. I know we lost battles in the Western Mediterranean. I gave up on the concept of naval supremacy officially. Instead, uh, aircraft are coming to mind. So I want to keep an air doctrine going. Uh, bomber defense plus 20% will be helpful. Yeah. Keep this going. Uh, land doctrine's finished. Artillery is finished. Yeah, support battalions are not quite finished, so... Keep that working on that. I'm tempted to actually equip a field hospital. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to. I'm probably going to ditch the engineer company. Because it gives... Because I don't think we need the extra entrenchment anymore. We're on the offensive all the time. Like, we are just on the offensive. Denmark is capitulated. Great news. Well... Sweden has remained neutral, if um, memory serves. Yep. Good. So, Swedish neutrality does indeed mean that uh, this front's clean. Yeah. Good. That frees up a lot of German troops for everywhere else. I said, where are the sh Axis shock troops at this point? Yeah. There we are. We've almost reconquered all of Turkey. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, come on, Turkey. Come back from the grave. Your job ain't finished here yet. Let's go. We got troops on our way now down to uh, Greece to take on Athens, which should make Greece capitulate. That'll be a good start. God knows everywhere I look, there's more Americans landing. Ugh. All right. Good news. We're almost up to uh, one per day there. Don't have enough oil or aluminum, but we're trying. Without any contacts in the Far East, that's just going to be a freaking thing we're going to have to deal with. I mean, we could try and cross the Raj, but I don't really want to get involved in a land war in China right now. My manpower and everything else is already stretched. Ugh, God, way too thin. Like, it's it's stretched way too thin. Alright, you guys. Blow up the Americans. Okay, this is turning into a full-blown invasion. Alright. Get down to Tuscany now. We'll brief you there. We can get everything else set up. There we go. Our troops finally arriving, I guess. Or no, they, they're doing it themselves. Good. Good. Yeah. Taking that island? Not going to be easy. Has a a anyone... Uh, seriously, make sure you're friggin' garrisoning Izmir. I don't want them getting off that island. And... Garrison that, because I don't want them getting off that island. There. Well, those islands, anyway. Because eventually they, uh, they will run out of supplies there. There's no naval base or anything to keep them going. Except maybe that, but I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, yeah, we managed to get Athens. The Hellenic Republic capitulates. Perfect. Which uh, looks like it's going to put an end to a lot of Balkan-based resistance that we've been dealing with. Whatever, right? 
More, uh, more landings. Much to my lack of surprise. Hey. Right. We have a group here. Your new job is here. Go. You guys have a new job in Italy. Go. Oh, it's all sorted out now. There's a company four. Good. All right. Engineering company. Don't really need anything else from there. Like, the problem is we're coming to the end of our necessaries for a tech tree. I guess we could probably grab encryptions. Out of curiosity. Like, does this improve jet fighters, like, agility? Doesn't look like it. That said, those rocket interceptors look like shit. So we'll start doing encryption. Alright. We're, uh, we're doing well. I think. I honestly don't know if, uh... The Allies can actually keep this up. The Americans have hemorrhaged 40% of their army. Like, the number of divisions has dropped. It used to be 600. It's now 375. That number is only going to get lower. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, like, if this naval base here is a... Okay, so that is indeed totally part of them. So they have supplies there. That sucks. That probably means is absolutely... Yes, I will allow Venezuela to send me volunteers. Yeah, that, that's fine. Well, welcome to the, uh... Welcome to the region. Alright, so let's hope our, uh... forces get here within a reasonable amount of time. Just friggin' relocate for crying out loud. There we go. Alright, looks like Naples is pulling some kind of encirclement juking. Good for them. That's your friggin' line. Launch an assault wherever and whenever. I'm just gonna leave it to you, AI. Good luck. Yeah. There's still bits of uh, resistance in the Balkan. Yeah, actively ending it? I don't know if we ever will be able to, but... You guys. I want an offensive line... Here. Go. I want the enemy destroyed. We're going to retake Iraq. We're going to freaking close off their access to the Mediterranean. Because I'm pretty certain since this is now contested, that no one can pass through it. Is that correct? Let me just double check. Yes. Due to the war controllers, access source allies, no one can pass. Good. Which is important. Because if we take control here, that means that... The only ships that they can enter the Mediterranean are submarines. That basically removes most of the coastline from play out here. Which is going to significantly, strategically weaken them. Because their ability to land naval invasions in Italy and the Balkans has definitely done a lot of damage to us. Uh, is your, your offensive fucked up? It has. Alright, well. The new offensive line is there. Go. Drover run. Reclaim the Italian capital for the 18th time. Good. Alright. Well, I think we sent a little overkill to deal with this, but... Hey. With our... With a little luck, these will be the last of the landings. Assuming our offensive at here goes well, and... Holy hell is it. Holy hell, is it ever going well? Oh. 
Alright. Little little encirclements like that make it all worthwhile. I tell ya. They're just dying. Alright, Turkey. Welcome back to the land of the living, my friend. I'm glad to have raised you. There's still some weird shit going on in here. Yeah, if we close off here, that's going to cut, cut the supplies to the freaking Balkan Islands, which will be helpful. Supply transports won't be able to get through. Which will put one hell of an end to them. Go. Reopen, uh, reopen supply lines to the Italians here. There. If they need to exit, they can now exit. And... Strategically speaking... You guys need to establish a new front line and a new offensive. Go. A lot more Americans to kill. They breed like rabbits, I say. Alright. That's a German soldier. So it looks like the next major landing's in the Britain Normandy region. Won't take us too long to clean that mess up. That goes further construction of infrastructure in that area. 10, 10, 10. Good. I'm actually getting some repairs off. Yeah. With the fresh in French infrastructure in that region being as good as it is, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Well, the Venezuelans decided to be the idiots who launched the attack, so... We'll just go around them. I mean, I shouldn't call them idiots for launching the attack. It was a nice gesture, but not necessary. Kill them. Keep pushing. Syria will will capitulate soon. Yeah, two divisions have been assigned here. Less than ideal, but we'll deal with what we've got. Straight sweep. The Americans are just going to lose out here. Good. Signal company up. We're going to have to garrison that port. The good news is, with Iraq back, we'll have a bit better of an oil supply. Get a better signal company going, damn it. Alright. What are you guys up to right now? Nothing? Good. Finish. Go do that now. Alright. I mean, we've completed the entire tree now, except, like, submarine effort, I guess. We'll just do it for the sake of it. Alright. Yeah. There are a lot. I'm not... First time for me. Yeah, you guys intervene there on a daily basis. Let's be fair here. All right, Syria capitulates. Lebanon is capitulated. Good. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna halt you. Ah, oh, never mind. Carry on. It all went to Turkey in the end anyway. That's fine. Uh, Okay, that ended up in the hands of the German Reich. Okay, I was like confused for a moment there when it changed colors. That's fine though. Das is fine. Okay. Cut them off. Good. So it's over for them, and, uh, yeah. Good. A lot more dead. Yeah, we need to break into Africa now. All right. You guys? 
Good news. You got an offensive line. Push them into the ocean, boys. I like to imagine that their casualty trickleback is actually just caused because people are swimming back across the channel. <laughs> it's really only like, you know, like 5% of the people routed swim across the channel and actually survive. <laughs> that's, that's what I've come to believe that their casualty trickleback is. But I need to improve my casualty trickleback, so I definitely need the field hospital. Let's do encryption. Good. We're just doing a lot of support company stuff at this point. Our main army's been top of the line for a while. Good. There's probably nothing here, so clean sweep, boys. For sabotage, whatever. All right. Good. So they're uh, they're all doomed to die there. Overrun. Like the Allies can't keep losing this. It's it's over for them. The U.S. is up to 1.24 million. The U.S. is up. Or the U.K. is up to 304,000. Crying out loud. And we're just about to the ch friggin' uh, Suez Canal here. I was gonna say the Suez Channel, but no, that's incorrect. Very incorrect terminology. Thanks to logistics companies, we can keep a lot of troops out here. We still have to keep a few back for supply reasons, but that's alright. Yeah, no, you're, you're not holding the canal. At the very least, we will uh, be contesting it. At the very least, we will be contesting it. If not, we just have our own private way in and out. There. So now that that's contested, there is no way in or out of the Mediterranean for their uh, transports and stuff now. The everything they've been doing... Into port. That's it. They've, uh, they've got no way out. And we're about to get a way out. Italy's navy, and... Well, yeah, just mostly Italy's navy, I guess. Is, uh, now able to leave the Mediterranean for the first time in an eon. Well, actually, that's not true. It only recently started where they weren't able to, when I joined the war. The fall of Cairo. Damn straight. Now. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have, like, you know... Uh, 18 some odd divisions here? Yeah, well, they're all gonna die now. Sorry. It's policy. Can't let your Brit bongers live. So wouldn't be good for business around here. Barely gaining any area XP anymore. Alright, in the meantime, how goes the production of naval bombers? They're at about half. I'm gonna make them higher priority than the fighters. We have enough fighters, so. The seven or so we get a day should be enough. I'm mostly interested in trying to get enough naval uh, bombers out that we can start doing shit. We have 410, which is a good start, but I want at least 1,000. I want to send, you know, like, 1,000 fighters and 1,000 bombers over the damn channel. I just want to fucking clean sweep their navy from that area in preparation for Sea Lion, which we haven't given up on, apparently. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so the next Africa war has begun. So we've secured a foothold in Africa. And this is, yeah, there will be no more landings around here, really. What they have now is it. It's a 
friggin... These guys also have to be running... Yeah, they're, they're actually just running out of supplies there. They can't get more supply transports in very effectively. It has to go through the UK's freaking desert colonies and shit. That's, uh, that's not the kind of infrastructure you can host a war through, my friend. So they will break. Make no mistake. Alright. Good. Yeah. Naval combat. Enemy has air superiority over the Iberian region. Trust me, if I gave a shit, I'd do something about it. The Iberian region has been not something I gave give a shit about for a long time. There. That said, it's soon gonna be time. Soon. Get ready, Britain. Good. Destroy all the remaining enemy soldiers in Sicily. Because there can be no more. I'm tempted to send the armies out in Africa. We only need a home defense army. Because, like, as long as Iran remains neutral. Well, it looks like Germany's decided to go on a grand African offensive. Well, that's fine, I guess. I'm just kind of worried about how my troops are behaving. Okay, we're going to garbage your orders and uh, actually set up a fallback line. If Germany is going to be doing this, they're doing this alone. I'm here solely to tactically secure this region. I don't care about anything at all short of the canal. Because that means that they can no longer land troops in the Mediterranean. I'm not prepared for an African offensive. I'm sorry. That is not on my plan list right now. I want to get the UK's mainland out of the war first. And for that, I need a lot more naval bombers, boy. Like, if we have a thousand fighters and a thousand naval bombers overhead, the, the channel, and then just for good measure, like an extra 200 fighters... Overhead, uh, or 2,000 fighters overhead, uh, the main English mainland. Then, uh, we might just pull this off. Sadly, it's going to still be a little while before we are properly prepared to deal with this. But we'll see. Random Mexicans. The U.S. is up to 1.26 million casualties, and everyone else is not looking so hot either. We withdrew. Germany's on their own out here. Because I think they're crazy. And in all honesty, I'm probably right. We have a couple of goons who are lollygagging. Leaves them to secure Cairo. You guys, I'm actually probably going to redraw your line. Um... Except that didn't include this province, did it? Yeah, uh, fuck. There we go. Alright, everyone, spread out over it. This is the only particular region of uh, Egypt that I care for. Mostly because of its value in victory points and a canal. Beyond that, whatever. Someday, we might retake Messina. They ain't doing so hot there with their uh, lack there of supplies. That said, the bajillion divisions? Who knows? So they're, they're just going to be a problem, aren't they? I don't know how the Philippines got in here. Probably just leftovers. I mean, I guess they can launch naval invasions through Africa, but I definitely think there should be a lot fewer of them. 
Well, we left that unguarded and nothing bad happened. Good news. Alright. Yeah, I'm not prepared for an African offensive. I, I want to clean up Europe first. We'll start by uh, cleaning up Italy again. And then, we'll goddamn do Sea Lion. We're almost to it. But, unfortunately, that won't be this episode, because we have to put an end here. If only I could find a place to get, like, 47 rubber. I mean, 5 rubber is worth a civilian factory to me. data whale. Yeah. Do that. No, anyway, that's the amount we're getting now. Uh, yeah, do that. There, cover our oil needs, so that way we can get more freaking planes off the ground. As for aluminum, I guess I need to import some of that too, don't I? German Reich. Uh, we need... 26, so 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Good. There. That's uh, getting us 10 naval of ombres a day now. Or something. No. no. Those, are, those are fighters, but important nonetheless. Alright. I mean, we don't even need that much rubber. I just need 12 rubber now. <laughs> 12 more rubber. And you know what? I think we can do that. If I've given up on naval superiority, I don't mind putting it here. Let's go. Begin constructing them. I'm gonna need every last one of them. Christ, all the rubber we can get. Very little of it we actually use because of free trade, but hey, we're trying, right? We produce 78, but export 62. Um, we're not actually exporting that much. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff still left for export. Uh, I'm going to turn off free trade and go down to export focus, because it's just waste at this point. There. And that should greatly improve some of our things. Uh, we don't need to import the steel anymore. Definitely don't need to import the oil. Well, we need to import less. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We need to import a hell of a lot less from Germany now. But we need the extra rubber. There. We are now pumping out as many planes, as many naval bombers as we can. Every day. 6.4. Hey, you know what? Won't take too long. A few months, we'll be ready to uh, launch our naval bombers over the English Channel. And uh, we're going to absolutely shred their fleets. And we're going to clear a path for our men to cross. We're coming for you, Britain. Can't hide forever. Man, if I've got so much aerial superiority, you know what I need to consider? Like, actual seriously? Atomics. One of the reasons I've avoided Atomics is because it's not really all that great. Uh, because you generally need air superiority. But in a case where I have air superiority, it seems like a logical choice. Okay, so that's all checked out. Uh, artillery, armor... Yeah, it's in 1946. Let's get Night Vision 2. We have to get better radar... The good news is Signal Company 4s will be helpful. God. Yeah. Portable hospitals. Bring medical care where it's needed. We can stop many unnecessary deaths and permanent injuries. Man. We've lost 600,000. It's nothing compared to what the Allies have lost fighting against us, but um, we have lost a lot. That is true. How did they... Okay, they definitely shouldn't have been able to get there. Unless I just left them there. It's possible I just left them there. 
Okay, China's... Alright, you know what? I'm not sure if I can do anything about China there. <laughs> That's... Oh, dear. Ch China's a whole nother problem. China is a whole nother problem. That said... Seem to have uh, managed to create a coalition of the allies in... Hey, get away from Gibraltar, damn it. Yeah, we uh, we need to retake Gibraltar pretty much as soon as possible. Keep their, uh, keep their ships out. Alright. Either way, time to end today's episode. I've been getting at that for a while, but been distracted by having to do too many things. The war goes well, and it goes better with each episode. There are still problems, glaring massive problems, but we're dealing with them bit by bit. Whether it be the seizure of the Suez Canal, the retaking of Italy for the 18th time. Like, Italy's actually establishing an army again. That's what we need them to do. Can we... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's not just the Chinese out here. In fact, it's mostly just Americans. Truth be told. It's mostly just Americans, but I'm not going to fight them in Siberia. I can't take those kinds of casualties. We have to wait for them to uh, at least get down to, like, around here. Which sucks. We're going to lose a lot of land, but... Only once uh, we get that far do we stand a better chance. God... Who knows, maybe instead of worrying about that, I go on a giant African offensive. If we, re if we take over, you know, Africa, it's a damn good start to things. Oh well. In the meantime, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.